Pinpoint Weather on NBC5 News is brought to you by the Cow Creek Umpqua Tribe. Hey, welcome back in NBC5. Good soaking weather over the weekend. We had some good rainfall totals across the area. We're still early in the month, but very impressive rain totals already for the month of May. Now we did add to a lot of, of course, those totals and look at the departure for the water year. If you remember, Medford was falling a bit behind and now we are above by half of an inch. A lot of pluses for the water year, which is fantastic news. Montague still below by eight tenths of an inch. Now, when we're getting through this week, we'll still have some showers, especially here today, even might even continue into Tuesday morning before the forecast is going to dry out and not only drying out, also going to be warming up. We're getting into well above the seasonal high for this time of year as we're heading into this weekend. In fact, this is kind of a repeat of the first of May last year. We had the rain. We had some cooler temperatures to start the month and literally as we were getting closer to Mother's Day, that forecast switch. We got into the 80s and 90s, so that's what we're going to be seeing a little bit more of as we uh, get into this week. Today, though, still going to be a cool day, still well below where we should be. Highs will be into the kind of mid 40s to lower 50s in our eastern counties. Uh, the rest of us will be into the mid and upper 50s. Temperature wise, not a huge difference compared to yesterday. There's a front just out to our west and you're seeing good coverage of showers to our north. We'll continue that setup of showers into this afternoon. But again, after that, that forecast is going to be drying out. As we look at pinpoint forecast for today, it's like yesterday. Some shower coverage on and off throughout this afternoon. Most of the rain is going to be up into Douglas County and stretching along the coastline. We'll see this building up into the Cascades as well. Snow uh, snow level is going to be about 5,500 feet, so there's still the potential up to around six inches of snow possible up towards Crater Lake. You get further east, further south, still a few showers, but overall just a bit more cloud cover for this afternoon. Overnight tonight, a few showers lingering, especially a little bit further north. That onshore flow continues, and then we get into Tuesday morning. We're going to be clearing out of this pretty quickly and that sunshine is going to be taking over the forecast. Now wind speeds already a little breezy right now. Portions of the coastline 15 to 25 miles per hour. The rest of us will see the winds kicking up, especially in our eastern counties through this afternoon. Again, around 15 to 30 miles per hour. Could still see some of the gusts this afternoon up to around 35 to 40. Now here in the valleys, a little bit of a breeze, a lot like yesterday. Keep that in mind if you're going to be outdoors. And in fact, the next couple of days. We're still expecting a little bit more wind. We'll see a little bit more wind on Thursday as well, kind of like what we're expecting here today. But look at the difference from around 57 today to getting to 70 Wednesday. We'll be in the 80s to end out this week. Mother's Day potentially could be at 90 degrees. Plenty of sunshine as we're getting through the rest of this week after today. Those morning lows will also be warming up, which is good news for our eastern counties, getting out of the freezing temperatures and in getting into some lower 40s by the week's end. Temperatures in our highs will be getting from 50 today to 75 by Friday and a breezier next couple of days today. The strongest wind speeds expected for the area. A slight chance for some showers in our eastern counties, even into northern California. Not a lot of the locations will stay dry, just a bit more cloud cover. The coastline will continue the shower chances through at least early Tuesday, and then it's drying out and warming up as well with some lower to mid 70s for this weekend. A bit more wind Tuesday through Thursday.